Hi, this is a Draft House Diary from Monday, November 6th, 2023, and this one poses a bit of a conundrum. I've committed to documenting every one of my visits to the Alamo Draft House, any Alamo Draft House, here on the Draft House Diary. But the reason I was going to see this particular movie was because of the Intermillennium Media Project podcast. So I'm going to give some very brief impressions about the movie here in the Draft House Diary, but I'm going to give more detailed commentary about it in an upcoming episode of the podcast. And by the way, my co-host of the podcast, Ian, also joined me for this visit to the Alamo. He's going to keep his powder dry or sand dry and give you his review of the movie during that podcast. And the movie that we went to see at the uh, Alamo Draft House at Littleton's Aspen Grove was Dune, the 1984 David Lynch version of Dune. Now, for me, Dune is an example of a glorious failure. It takes big swings. It's got big ideas, some really interesting and innovative things about the design and the filmmaking and the acting. It's also got some terrible, terrible decisions baked in there. And one thing it does is it illustrates that it's very talented, very hardworking, very innovative people with lots of resources at their disposal can still end up creating a film that is just a mess in so many ways. And as I said, I'll talk more about the movie in an upcoming episode of that podcast, and I'll let you know when that episode is coming out. We're, of course, trying to time that to go with the release of the uh, Denis Villeneuve adaptation of Dune, part two of his adaptation, that is coming up. So stay tuned for that. As to other parts of my trip to the Alamo, the pre-show was very good, and it's one of those things that made it worth going to this uh, screening, not just to see Dune on uh, the big screen for the first time in decades, but also to see this pre-show. It had a lot of making of and behind the scenes documentary type uh, pieces and interviews, including some interviews with, um, with Jack Nance, longtime collaborator with David Lynch. It had some interviews with David Lynch, both about Dune and other things, one in which David Lynch makes George Lucas seem more surreal than anything that appears in a David Lynch movie. And also some commentary from Raffaella De Laurentiis from a producer's point of view about Dune and about making Dune and about what happened to Dune. So a very, very interesting pre-show. I did get some food on this visit, and I tried the Hellfire Burger. That's something that was added to the menu a few months ago during their most recent big update. I figured that watching Dune, that was a chance to feel some of that desert heat by getting a really spicy burger. The problem is it was not a very spicy burger. It was very disappointing. The Hellfire Burger is supposed to include... Uh, Melted hot pepper cheese, reaper pepper mayo, along with caramelized onion and blue cheese and garlic aioli. And there was hardly any spice to it at all. There wasn't much to that hot pepper cheese or that reaper pepper mayo. And whatever little bit of spice might have been there was completely overwhelmed by the fact that there was just way too much blue cheese on this burger. If, if I were eating this and someone said, explained that it was a, a blue cheese sandwich, I might have believed them. There was just so much, and it was overpowering every other flavor and overpowering any bit of spice there might have been. So pretty disappointed in that Hellfire burger. I really was in the mood for something spicy, and I didn't get it. As for the service at this visit to the Alamo, it was disappointing as well. I think this is a server that I've had before, and the server was just very obtrusive, very distracting, not very efficient, dropping napkins on the floor all over. And every time this server moved around during the screening, it was noisy, distracting, and they insisted on handing your check or your receipt to you during the movie as opposed to just quietly placing it on the table as every other server at the Alamo I've ever encountered does. It just seems like there's a lack of training or something going on there. This is not the kind of service that the Alamo is known for, that the Alamo is usually very, very good at. So that was very disappointing. But it was still worth going to see Dune from 1984 on a big screen and to enjoy it along with that Alamo pre-show. Thank you very much for joining me for this Draft House Diary. If you found this interesting or useful, please click that like button. If you want more Draft House Diaries in the future, please click subscribe. 
I will be back with more soon, and in the meantime, enjoy your movies, and when you do, stay till the end of the credits.